Hello, my name is Rakesh Rao from Bangalore and I represent Prixis in India. Did you know that you can also attach non-graphical data as well to entities in BricsCAD? One of the ways to do this is using entity data or xdata. This video tells you how. Go to the tools menu and scroll down to entity data. Click on create or edit entity data and I am going to add some entity data to this line here. The first thing that I need to do is to define an application name and I am going to call it as entity prop for entity properties think of it as the table name I'm now going to add a description so that goes as a string and I write it as vertical line I also want to enter the color so that goes as string as well it's white and I want the length which goes as a real value and that's 4000 So go back to the same command, click on this line and I can see that my data is already entered here. In a similar manner, I've already entered data for a couple of other entities as well. Now this was a real quick way to create entity data manually. There are other ways to create entity data also and one of them is using simple Lisp code. In this video, I will I have written a small sample code which transfers block attributes to entity data. You can see that there are a number of blocks here. Each one of them have got six attributes. And we have a list routine called add to xd which I'm going to load now. It's called att to xd. I start the list routine and uh, I select the block fuse, this, this, all five of them. So what has happened is the block attributes have all been transferred as entity data. You can verify that by going back to the same command. You can see that each block attribute is now stored and appears as entity data. There are other tools in this section. For example, if you want to copy entity data from one entity to another, you can use this. So I choose this, use fuse as my application name, select from here and move it, select it, copy it to here. And I come back to the same tool and all my attributes which were transferred as entity data in the block are now copied here. In a similar manner there are also tools to move entity data which can uh, delete entity data from the source and move them to the target entity. There's also options to delete the entity data and also to reassociate entity data from one application name to another. So you can see that entity data is a very handy tool to store random nodes and data within your entities or even build a structured database of non-graphical information in your drawing. Unlike databases or attributes, entity data is unstructured and each entity can have any number and type of data attached to it. This video is specially made for Brixis TV. Do let me know your feedback, comments or any questions. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.